What's cracking, everybody? How you doing? This is my third time around tonight. I'm doing it like the big channels. I'm trying to get my my million subscribers and, and my millions of dollars up right now. I'm BSing, but this is my third time. I want to get a couple things. I, I, uh, I actually heard the blue dildo. I mean, um, Papa Smurf, what's his name? Uh, Haters World. He's bringing me up again. And I want to get a couple things clear. First of all, that noise that you heard wasn't me. It was my dog chewing on his bone. Two, that's why I looked to the side. It was my dog. <laughs> but you can believe what you want. Second of all, I didn't take your your uh, your advice on anything. Those fish, those that, that fish tank has been gone for about six months now. Maybe even a little bit longer. We gave it to somebody that didn't, couldn't afford to have a pet like that. So we gave it to him. Because uh, he lives with his parents. Kind of like you. You know what I mean? You know, they gave you to you. You're underprivileged. And, you know, you can always tell when somebody is underprivileged. Because they're always bragging about how much money they got. Now, as far as anything else, let's check this out, man. I'll give you 24 hours. Come down to my thing, do jump on a video with me. Since you want to call me a bitch ass, bitch ass. You want to be a punk. You want to be a bitch. I'll give you 24 hours to come down. Shoot me your, your information on the email. Elmwoodero dot com e l m w o o d e r o at gmail dot com, and I'll have you in my show. You ain't gotta run around and chase me or nothing. I don't. I don't need time to go get a bunch of homies to back my play. And we can sit there and talk like grown men, even though one of us hasn't really grown. You know what I mean? You only. As far as you getting upset because I talked about Mexicans, you're only half Mexican. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Where you getting all upset? You only half anything because you're only half a man. You're a midget. So you got no right to get mad about anything. So check this out, bitch ass. You don't know me for shit, like I told you before. See, and I wouldn't have disrespected you like that, but you did me first. So I'm going to come right back at your bitch ass. You can act raw jaw anybody you want. You're not going to do it to me. You're not going to sit there and think you're going to fucking bully me. Come off the couch and come and show me. I'm, I'm from Missouri, the show me state. Come and show me. Shouldn't be a problem for you because I'm old, remember? I'm old that you're just going to run over me, right? Come and show me. You're a very disrespectful person. You got no kind of clutch uh, you're talking about, oh, well, you didn't know about the 24 hours, so obviously you've never been there and done that. You know, uh, whether you realize it or not, I've been shot twice. I've been stabbed multiple times. Light turn for gangbanging. I've pretty much done it. I'm not talking about it. I did it. As far as money, like I said, if you're bragging about how much money, how successful you are, then you ain't got none. I don't have to live with my parents. I've been on my own since I was 15. Yes, 15 years old. I'm 56 now. I've been on my own that long. My family is well taken care of. My daughter while taking care of my son, while taking care of my wife, while taking care of. As far as me bragging about money, no, I don't got no money. I have no money. I'm a broke motherfucker. I got nothing in my bank account. I just had enough to give me a monster. But you know what? All my bills are paid. And I'm sure whatever you got, it's not very nearly as close to what I got. Like I said, all them people that brag about how much money they got or how successful they are, they really ain't. You don't have to tell somebody how successful you are or how much money you have. That just comes with the territory. People know. 
but you're one of those people that like to talk a lot. You can call me Migroso all you want. I don't care. I've been married 35 years. That means I can keep a woman. Went to prison, came out, had beautiful kids with her, had beautiful grandkids. And I don't have to speak on somebody that doesn't speak to me or speak on me. And you want to talk about, well, you know, you're, I'm right here speaking because you spoke on me. No, see, that's where you're fucking trying to flip the script. You spoke on me. Period. You had no business talking about me. You had no business calling me outside my name. And if you were any kind of man with any kind of integrity, and I called you out on it, you would have you would have apologized. Said, you know what, homie, I was right. I was wrong about you. I spoke on you when I shouldn't have. But no, you want to double down on it because you want to be all up on that fool's nut sacks. So you're gonna tell me? I'm not asking you to back my play. I'm definitely not asking you to back his play. But you're telling me, well, who would you side with? I wouldn't side with the dude that has openly told people that he called and had somebody arrested. I would not side with the person that goes to some guy's wife and tells his wife, hey, your husband's screwing around on you and does it openly, tells everybody in the world, yeah, I told his wife. There's a lot of things um, that you are, are co-signing for. I don't think that's cool. I'm not asking you to co-sign for me. You don't have to like me. You don't have to watch my channel. I got 14 people. But you're lying. I had 15. I had 15 people in my life. See, that's the difference between me. I'm not asking anybody for money. I'm not giving care about anybody. I'm not talking about anybody. Just doing me. And I got 15 subscribers watching me. I got 5,000, almost 5,600 subscribers. Yeah, that many. Never gone down on my subscriptions. My subs have always been completely building up, building up, building up. I'm not one of those guys that sell out my integrity for a story. Yes, you broke the 6 9 You broke story. You broke uh, the Bozo situation. Guess what? I would have never talked about that shit. It's none of my business. That's the difference between me and you. I'm not going to sell out my integrity for a buck or a sub. I talk about things that are going to help somebody hopefully in, in their life. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. But if it does help one kid, I'm grateful for it. That's the difference between me and you. We're not on the same platform. We're not being the same person. You want to talk about prison shit. You're the one that brought a prison shit. Well, I've been to the shoe. I've done this. I've done that. I almost got murdered when they cracked my head open. I was going to bleed out. And you talk about you didn't talk like that, but you do. I look back into your thing. You've talked about it. Oh, I went to prison. I'm a real one. I've died for my neighborhood and woo, woo, woo. And you're, you're a walking contradiction, like I said. Don't sit there and talk about somebody and then say you don't do it. Because that's exactly what you do. That's, what, that's the kind of character you have. Now, if, like I said, if you want to do reactions, be non-biased about it. Don't pick a side. But you're, oh, well, I talked about 6 9 first, and I talked about, I haven't talked about Bozo, and I haven't talked about 6 9 because I don't care. It's none of my business. I could care less what they got going on in their lives. That's their business. So when you run your mouth, know what the fuck you're talking about. So I'll be expecting to hear from you within 24 hours, bitch ass. You can come over here and show me that we can talk like a man. 